Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today's video, we're gonna go over Tales of Scenario as we always do. Now, today's is about the news that got deleted, showing you on the screen right now. It's about um, CCs, which is content creators, getting demo release, which means we get early access compared to you guys. Now, um, news is still tonight, heading home for dinner, and gonna finalize the post for y'all. Topia's heading to bed and has left to me left it to me and B to do. Our message has been finalized. B will be posting it shortly. Give it a few minutes. Then got the message um sent, which I will show you in a minute. For you can see the whole thing. Then um, B script says the community is upset. So we're going to update this approach. Then he said Topia will deal with this tomorrow. We understand your frustration, and this will be reassessed uh, tomorrow, as B said. We thought this would uh, be a fun approach to things, but we missed the mark, and we're sorry for that. Why were they trying to do this? Because they wanted to build more hype. If you ask Lucky HD, he says it. Now, the only chat that is open is not General 1, it's General 2. As always, General 1 gets uh, you know, closed. Because people can't stop their toxicity and stuff like that. Now, I'm still streaming, of course, and because I'm still streaming, there was people that was toxic and came along to our stream, which was fine. It was not a big deal, but there's a lot of toxic people that we were there and we met. So that was not a fun ride. It was very messy and it was, it was kind of, you know, blown, you know, taking away the, the people's... It was buzzkill. It was a buzzkill. Let's put it that. People were just being straight up toxic. They were blowing out the mood. We were having fun and all that. But everybody just wanted to be toxic. Anyways. As I should have expected. <sighs> this is what they said. We've got some exciting news to share with you today. First off. We are thrilled to announce that we are launching a demo for content creators this week. Content creators will get a get to the dive into the game and play and showcase and play scenario up to Arxworth. If you're if you are a content creator, stay tuned for more details on how you can join in on the fun. We'll be giving more details to this tomorrow with an application process for people that not in our official partner program. Doesn't sound that bad. That's fine. But the second part is where it's more understandable to be upset about. He's, uh, he proceeds to say, Secondly, drumroll please. We will be revealing our new release date for the public game at the end of the content creator demo. Get ready to mark your calendars. Now that part is understandable if you're upset about it. Because it's supposed to mean like after content creators, you guys could play it. And the content creators... You know, we're gonna might have it for a week or two, and I understand that could be very frustrating. Part the second part, it's understandable to be upset, but the first part doesn't make makes much sense to be upset about it. It's partner partner program, and so most of the content creators been here for a while. I've known the game since it was Pokemon Metal Malachi, but I'm not. I don't really care if I get it. There's other content creators that are more valid to get it than me. Again. The first part is not a big deal. Second part is the more bigger deal because it makes it sound like, okay, it's going to take like two weeks or three and we might not even get the game this month. We were supposed to get it in February, but that got delayed. So I don't know. Let's proceed. And last but not least, on launch day, we'll be dropping a roadmap outlining the exciting future, future of Tales of Tenorio. Featuring info on Stadium 3 and the Battle Coliseum. I'm guessing that's what he meant. PvP. So, I guess they will be trying to drop the third stadium with a PvP. But we don't really care about that. I don't know if they're reverting back to the original plan. Which was Stadium, three stadiums and PvP. If it's two stadiums, as long as we get the game... I'm fine. We should just all get the game and stop crying about it if other con like content creators or testers or things get it. 
again, you guys, some people forget. I'm not going to say you guys because I would rather that's like put it all in category. So some people forget that Lucky HD is a content creator. And because people forget that, it just blows their mind when they forget. Lucky HD is a content creator. He's doing this because we're also content creators. He's trying to help other content creators because he's a content creator. Does that make more sense? Just um, do you that think forget that Lucky HD is a uh, you know a content creator. He is in the partner program after all. Anyways, if we continue. He says, thanks for your love and patience, CLT community. We know things have been rough, but we are thankful to those who continue to share our excitement and passion for the pro this project. Although this may not be what we envisioned our launch to look like, we know what we want our future to be, and that's forever a fun game for you. Of course, as you can see up here, the message was deleted and it was posted and stuff like that. You can see some of this, the things. TLT news will be posted in here. So you guys could join our Discord server. It's in the description. And you'll get sneak peeks of the game. Or anything that I could get my hands on. Of course, not things that what I was told not to show. I will not be showing that because I don't that means I'll be my CC will be taken away. And we wouldn't want that. Because then I can't show you guys like other features and stuff like that. Now, um, toxicity does not make sense. That, but I don't want to talk so much about it. It was not okay. There were some people that joined the stream and just kept being toxic. It was not okay. I had someone to come in and help me out for it. There was someone who was making multiple accounts just to try to harass me. Yeah, there was a lot of things going around. We managed though so props to us people that you ooh, that were there if you were there and you experienced that props to you for being there and you know it's trying to be, just you know be patient and all that anyways long story short cc is mike at the demo it seems like they really want to enforce it and that might be possible i don't know i don't really care if we get it or not at the end of the day, I still would be waiting for Tales of Terraria to come to the game or just as long as you are. And the stream is still going to be going up. Um, I will be ending a stream on March 17th if the game does not release. I want to announce that. March 17th. So if the game does not come out on March 17th, the stream will end and that's it. And then I'll probably stream another time when it's confirmed. Another of these 24-7 streams will have to go. Anyways... Hopefully that will inform you and mostly everything. Join our Discord server. It's in the description. Come come to, uh, join us. Talk to, about Tales of Scenario. Talk about other games if you want. I'll play with other games. I'll stream other games and stuff like that. Come and join us. Talk to us. You know, you get a diff. Join our Discord server. We're trying to hit a thousand members. And like, subscribe, turn on notifications. Share the, share the stream. Share the video. Do all that. You know, comment what do you think about to, you know, to show that you actually watched the end of the video. So, to show that you watched it all the way to the end of the video, answer my question, which the question will be, what is your opinion on CECs getting demos, content creators getting early access? What is your opinion on it? Do you think they deserve to get it? Do you think they don't need to get it? Do you think it's fair? Do you think it's unfair? You tell me. Anyways, like I said, all the social medias are in the description. Follow follow me on Twitter, Instagram. Um, join Roblox group. Join our Roblox group. You can follow me on Roblox. That way you can join me in other games if I ever announce it. Um, Roblox outfits. You can buy, purchase them. Um, I drew them myself. So, yeah. And, yeah. Join our stream. Randomly, I will ping people on the Discord server if you want to come and hop in to play with me or something like that. Anyways, in the background is Blocks Roots. As you can see, that was me playing. It was just pre-recorded. Anyways, that's enough of my rambling. So I'll see you guys next time. Make sure you do stay safe. And take care of yourself. And stay away from that toxicity. We do not need that. And you don't need to be influenced by that. Stay safe.